I went from 2 million to 20 million in just 4 hours. How did I do it? I have an unbeatable strategy that will make you rich in Tarkov no matter your skill level. Before we begin, let me give you some stats. I did this in a day. I played for around 4 hours. I did 16 raids in that time. I died only once. On an average, I was making 1.1 million per raid. And that is 4.5 million per hour. Keep watching if you want to know the secret to making money in Escape from Tarkov. The goal is to avoid high PvP areas and maps which have a lot of choke points and maps which force you into PvP. So customs and factory are out of the question. In interchange, sometimes you can't avoid PvP because you have to move a lot for loot. And the early rate PvP to get inside the mall is too risky. Lighthouse is a bad option because either you have to clear rogue cam which takes a lot of time and is risky or you have to loot the shallots which are always contested. Unless you have Lightkeeper Island unlocked, it makes no sense to go Lighthouse. Woods is good but there is no way you can loot and extract in under 10 minutes on that map. This leaves us with 3 maps, Shoreline, Reserve and Streets. Now Reserve would be a good choice but the extracts on this map are bad. They force you into PvP or make you travel the whole map. What is left is Streets and Shoreline. Now most of us would blindly pick Streets because of the amount of loot it has. But again the extracts are far and there are a lot of player scars. I would have said let's go Shoreline but I wanted you to understand this thought process. Shoreline is the perfect map. It just got buffed in loot plus the new extracts are available on both sides. The part to lighthouse extract and the car extract, they're available 100% of the time. I'm sure if you do a 10 minute raid, no one can beat you to that car extract. So yes, you can assume 100% availability of the car extract. In my 16 raids that I did on Shoreline for loot, only once someone took the car extract. Now the only problem is there are a lot of quests on Shoreline which require players to kill scars, mark stuff, etc. So there is a lot of movement of PMC on the map in general. To reduce the risk of engagement, what we do is, depending on where you spawn, we only loot that side of the map. So if I spawn in the east side, I only loot the cattle farm and the hidden stashes on the way. The newly added cattle farm has plenty of loot to fill your bags. Then I extract from the car extract. If I spawn on the west side, I only loot the village and the hidden stashes and extract from the path to light of extract. At no point, I'm crossing the choke points on Shoreline. Now keeping the gear light is the most important thing. Light so that you make less sound while moving, plus you have a higher movement speed. Plus the stamina drain is less that means you cover more distance quickly. This also means that you're not gonna be slowed down when your bag is full of loot. Second, keep it cheap, we're not here for PvP. So in the rare instance of PvP and if we lose, we do not lose a lot of money because of gear. For bag we go for mechanism backpack, why because it has 32 slots and weighs only 1kg. This is perfect. You won't find a bag of this size which weighs less than 1kg. Plus it's available for cheap and free for around 40k ruble. Isn't that stupid? For rig we'll go with Umka West which is 1.2kg. It's available for cheap and free because calves spawn with this quite often. You can get this for around 15 to 20k on free. Any headset of your choice. For armor I want something light because armor is the most heavy component of your kit. I run with Thor armor and replace the plates with level 4 monoclate plate. This reduces the weight of the armor from 10.4 kg to 4.4 kg. Last is the weapon. I go with the Vapor Hunter because how suppressed the shots are on this gun. If I'm killing a scav, no one should know about it. Plus the build is less than 100k. We go night raids for lower PMC traffic and because of the snow, you don't really need a night vision. Just a flashlight is more than enough. I get the 6P47 helmet from Ragman level 2 barter which cost me less than 20k. I fit the flashlight on that. I carry a document case for cash and injector case for stems. They also come in handy as they have extra slots for specific loot. All the slots in my pocket are full with heels, magazine and a nade. Keep your raid short and to the point. You only have a limited amount of slots in your inventory, so just fill them with loot. Anything above 10k rubles is worth picking up. If your bag has 32 slots and your rig has 16 slots, 
add two more slots from your safe container so you have a total of 50 slots of loot to bring back which makes it a minimum of 500k rubles per raid if you get lucky some of these items are gonna be expensive and that's how you push this to a million the aim is to keep the raid time under 10 minutes assuming you spend 5 to 10 minutes in stash or finding a raid that makes it a total of 15 to 20 minutes per raid so you can make around 3 to 4 million per hour easily What I have in front of you is a map of Sherline. The yellow, these are all the spawns. So let's talk about the east side. Now, if you spawn any of these location, what I want you to do is take the corner and move like this. This will help you avoid all that PvP and keep you alive. Now, if you spawn at any of these location, what I want you to do is quickly rush for the cattle farm and extract. You can do this in under 8 minutes if you spawn here. And if you spawn at any of these location, it will take you 12 minutes. Now let's talk about the east side. If you spawn anywhere here, you should take the corner and head to the village. If you spawn anywhere here, take the corner, head to the village. Because most of these spawn are moving towards resort. And if you spawn anywhere inside the village, you can easily loot village. The next thing you do is take the dead scav and loot the stashes and extract. These are the two strategies that I have for the east side and the west side of the map. And remember, it will take you a little bit longer if you're on the west side because most of the loot in the cattle farm is directly available to be picked up. But on the west side, you have to loot duffels and move around different houses to loot. So it'll take you more time. So I assume it'll take you around 12 minutes for every raid to loot this whole area. Now let's talk about the west side. My general route is looting the hidden stash here and the two houses here which have good loot. Then I move to the garage in front which has a lot of toolboxes and the house and the hidden stash here. Then what I like to do is cross the road and loot the two hidden stashes here. Then I keep moving across and I loot the mid bag room and the big house here. Then I go out and loot this house and loot the garage here. Then what I like to do is I move towards my extract, loot the dead scav, do the hidden stashes here, loot this house because it has plenty of loot and then I extract. This is my general route on the west side of the map. Now the east side is extremely quick and you have more loot available. What I like to do is I like to follow the edge of the map. I loot the toolbox if it's safe, loot the hidden stash, make my way to the cattle farm. Then I loot the cattle farm which has plenty of loot. Then I go towards the car extract. If I still need more loot, I loot the garage here plus the hidden stash here and then extract. If you're solo, then you have to cover less area for loot and you get all the valuable loot for yourself. That means your total movement on the map is less and the time you spend in a raid is also less, which makes the run low risk. Be selfish, take it all home, don't share. Now this why PvP is totally not worth the risk. Anyone can kill anyone with just a shitty bullet even if you are a walking tank. So just avoid PvP if you really want to make money. Even if you think you're good at the game, just repeat these words after me. It's not me, it's Darko. Now let's look at a loot run from both sides of the map and how they look like. Oh, we got a good spawn. Quickly check this hidden stash in the corner here. If you don't know, we are at the road to customs. Oh, this is gonna be good raid. Ooh, that's lucky. Uh, a bit risky, but I'll do that. Maybe I'll find one more. Orange grenade. Ooh, what the fuck? Why did I leave that? Don't wanna waste a lot of time here. There's one more, maybe one more. Impact needs are huge, guys. I, I believe, like, if you put a value to it, it's gonna be 100k. Maybe more, like, 200k. Like, that thing is extremely valuable. Alright, what you need to look out for is... Maybe left side of the tower or the right side of the tower? PMCs. 
Never loot that. Just pick the stuff on the ground, but don't loot that. This PMC spawns in front. If you want, you can come up to this tree. The hidden stash here. Ooh. I'll take that. I go slow. Keep your eyes open. PMCs to your left, guys. Multiple spawns to your left. Waiting for my stamina to fill. Oh, I don't like that. Why is there so many PMCs here? Not a PMC, that's a scab. I bet they didn't hear me. But I have to be careful, there's possibly a P PMC on the other side. But I don't understand how... How is he here already? Because there are no spawns on the front side of this thing. But let's be careful. I just skip this thing. Even if there's something important, I don't care. We're looking for barter items, mainly. That's a scab. Do bosses spawn here? Alright. Need that duffel quickly. And reload as well. Not duffel, toolbox, my bad. We go here, backside. I wanna be quick. This looks like a very active raid. Loot these. Um, the barter items on the ground here. So you want to check them. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to loot the... This warehouse thing. The one which is... The lower warehouse. Let's call it the lower warehouse. That was a mistake. Alright, we got barter items here. Go inside. Food spawns on the tables, guys. Alright, looks clear. Perfect. And more battery. Let's do a circle. Alright, very good loot spawns on this table. I found Tetris and stuff here. So definitely must check. I I don't think that's too valuable. I'll take it for the upcoming Ragman quest. Very valuable. More PC parts and barter items here, guys. Ooh, did I say PC parts? I did that. More barter items on the floor here. Uh, I need to survive this raid. Oh, what am I doing? Medical supply crate, guys. Alright, once we are done here, just gonna look at this table as well. I see some screws. I think there's a jacket here. Sometimes. Alright, now we go left here. Food spawns. Keep moving. Here are we five minutes into the raid. <coughs> oh, look at that. Butter items here on the shelf. Toolbox. Perfect. Alright, barter items on this shelf. Ooh, this raid is going so good. Barter items on the other shelf as well. Jackets, if you want to loot. I think it will be very... will be full 
quickly. That's what I wanted to say. Ooh, what the hell is this raid, guys? All right, more button items on the tables here. Food items on this table. So I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Weapon spawns on these tables. Barter items on these shelves. Alright, once we're done here. We're gonna go outside. I missed one spot. Was that a player? I missed this spot. On this table as well. Oh, I'm lucky I came to check. You wanna cut the corner here? Loot this. I think I'll check the dead guys. Let's see if we have a slot for this. I'm gonna drop that. Move this here, move this here. My loot is done. Just wanna check if there's something valuable we missed. There's barter items on the floor. Stuff here, stuff inside this. I'm just gonna extract now. I wanna be efficient. Weapon. Uh, medical crate. Weapon crate. Weapon crate. Food items inside. Dead scav on that corner. Weapon spawns and weapon part and ammo. Butter items. I think sometimes there's a toolbox here plus butter items. You wanna check that if you don't still have empty slots. I'm gonna take the car extract. It's time we leave. I want this raid to be under like 9 minutes. Fight going on in the resort. While they're fighting for just a little bit of loot. I have so much. Alright. What you can do is crawl beneath this fence here. But what I like to do is check this hidden stash. Okay. Nothing valuable. If you want more loot, there is barter items on the ground and there's a toolbox in there. You can check all of that. What a raid. One GPU, two Tetris, and we were full in nine minutes. Unbelievable. I also forgot to mention two RNG nades, guys. This is huge. Two RNG nades. Motor is huge. The ratchet is huge. In under 10 minutes, guys. And we did kill two players. We killed one player in the open. And the other guy was waiting for us. We did kill two players. Holy moly, dude. Alright, we have spawned west side, guys. And this is one of the worst spawns. So what we do is stick around the left side on the corner here. Just scavs. I thought I, I had PMCs here. I will quickly move towards the left side. Follow this wall here. Just don't, make sure you don't die to the mines. Be careful here. Sometimes if somebody is doing the opposite rotation. If they have a marking quest on the ambulance, you can find PMCs here. Why are there so many scavs here today? And we have no choice. We made sound. 
I made sound because uh, the ADS was so slow. Ooh, valuable, valuable. Ooh, valuable. If I didn't aggro some PMCs towards me. Alright, duffel outside this house. This is the first house we'll be looting. Nothing useful. Maybe go up. Some loot sometimes above here. something valuable all right nice nice i'll take that all right duffel here and i can move this here that is not that valuable right, i know there's a pmc or a scav somebody's here just be careful Alright, next house we go is the direct opposite house uh, uh, towards the other side of the road. And the multiple duffel toolboxes and one jacket in here. Nice. Toolboxes. Sometimes the toolbox and a duffel inside the kitchen also here. Sometimes duffel here and this toolbox. Alright, that was nice. At least some loot. Alright, now we go out. What you want to do is you want to climb these tires here and jump off this fence. Now we're gonna go for this house. Just careful here, this house is good loot, sometimes PMCs do loot this house. Alright, multiple duffel and two boxes. Alright, everything valuable we just pick up. I just move the items which are still valuable to me even if I die into my pouch. Ooh. Now that's definitely more valuable. I can do this. This keeps getting better and better. Check this table definitely. Jacket here. Perfect, 15k. There's a hidden stash here. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'll do it. Maybe I'll find more loot with this raid. I can take the food item also. Hi, right, next we go out. And we're gonna go into this garage here. There's a toolbox here. And another toolbox here. Perfect, good dude. Now we're gonna go out leave everything i'm still scared about that scav or a pmc who we heard not sure who it was just gonna forget about him act like he was never there all right there's a hidden stash inside this well and a hidden stash in that corner Mm, 
just keep following this road and we go into this garage here first multiple toolboxes in here Go out, go inside here, again toolbox here. Here motor, tool set, 55k, perfect. Alright, nothing special in this house, so we just keep moving. I think the jackets in this one. Yeah, there are two jackets here, you can check these. Now the next room is important. Let us scav here. Alright, this room is important. At times you'll find like three female bags in here. Unlucky. Right, I'm gonna ignore the scav. Go into this big house with the garage. Sometimes loots on these shelves and the table here. Two jackets here. Multiple duffels. Great loot. Just gonna check these tables. Lucky we got so many duffels this raid. Now we're gonna go up. Sometimes duffels up here also. Another duffel here. I, I think I'm doing decent. If I didn't have this vest, I mean rig, we probably would be full. I want to be careful. I think I heard some footsteps. So what we want to do is come left here. And check this house. Sometimes a duffel in this corner. Nothing in this room, I think. But the duffels upstairs. just have one more slot left and what we are gonna do is go back into this garage here and we're gonna check these shelves this corner for duffels there are multiple tool bags and duffels in this shack so let's check with all of them Another GM con. I take that. Hmm. I have something. Yeah, 
I don't want to waste this much time. On one object. Alright, we're completely full, guys. No more space. Let's just leave. I'll take that. Alright. I... I'm full. Usually... Usually you won't be full by this just one place. I mean, the two, the village itself. Is that a player or a scav? It was a scav. Alright, now we're moving towards part to light of extract. And I'm gonna show you some more loot spawns on the way. Once we are here, you you would like to check that house. There's a dead dead scav in there. You can check him. Once you check him, go out. And we're gonna go into the sunken village here. Keep walking, avoid the the swamps. Just avoid the swamps like I'm doing. And once you are on this house, there is a toolbox here, toolbox there. We go inside, toolbox here. Two weapon crates, one more toolbox, ammo box and ammo box. This house is worth checking. Once you loot that house, you come here. Hidden stash right here. You need that. Follow this house. I generally won't come here if my bag is full. But I'm here just to show you this, this area as well. Hidden stash in this corner. And if you're still not full, loot that house. And then you can go to extract. Alright, then you extract guys. Done. I think this was very good loot. Easily worth a million, I think. 15 minutes. I think if it wasn't this bad of a spawn, plus I didn't spend time to show you around, this could be done in like 10, 10 11 minutes. Knowing how to sell the loot is important. I want to maximize the profit. So I collect barter items into scav junk box which are to be sold on flea. Note that this is where your maximum chunk of profit is going to come from. So you want to collect at least 10 items before you put it up on sale on flea. I usually list items before heading into a raid at a value such that it would be sold by the time I'm back. Items which traders give more or similar value than flea, I sell to them. I try to avoid looting weapon parts because selling individual weapon parts is tough on flea but items like suppressors, scopes can directly be sold to traders so you can always pick them up. Now if you start going on doing this on loop then that's fucked up. Earn 10 to 20 million and stop. That is more than enough to last you the whole vibe. Don't be that guy who farms 100 million and then loses interest in the game. There's lot to be done and explored in Tarkov. Try different gears, weapon, with this new wild wealth of yours. Do things that you were afraid of doing before, like choosing the W key way, then the rat way. Anyways, keep enjoying. That is all I have for you in this video. If this was helpful, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, then maybe subscribe. I do a lot of talk of guides and videos. I'm live every day on Twitch. So if you want to hang out, then do follow me there as well. Until next time.